And welcome back to Who Would Win? Today's Who Would Win comes to us from Ten Hokage, who asked the question, who would win a fight? The Joker versus John Rambo. This could be in the speed round video, although the Joker is someone that, when you're not putting him up against a supernatural character or superpowered character in any general capacity, that you do have to give some leeway to. Because the Joker... <laughs> As it's, I heard it once put, there's a, um, there's a RPG that's essentially like superhero movie, or Mutants and Masterminds, I believe it is. Uh, and someone once asked the question, how do you play like the Joker? And the person just said, cheat. That's how you play like the Joker, you cheat. Because uh, that's just generally what the Joker's motif is. He's never playing fair. He's always, he's always spontaneous to the point of, he doesn't even know what he's always doing. Not quite Deadpool-like, but he is literally just, he does not care and will let you know he does not care. He'll do whatever the hell he wants when he wants to do it. The Joker, though, is insane, but insanely intelligent as well. I mean, there's a reason he is Batman's greatest foe. Uh, that he is, he, because he is arguably equivalent to Batman in many ways. Uh, he is also very, he's also very skilled in, um, in deception. He's a master manipulator. He's also highly skilled in most forms of combat, at least weaponry combat. Like, he can use any weapon he gets. Crowbar, gun, acid flower, you name it, he can pretty much use it. You know, when I use knives, guns are too quick. <laughs> you can't savor all the little emotions. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, beyond that, too, he's also got so many weird, like, gadgets. Uh, again, the acid flower, the boxing glove gun, or which is still very dangerous, the way it's portrayed. One of the big things he has, though, is his Joker Venom, which is usually used in the form of a gas. Uh, it's powerful enough to literally... Like, the Joker, the laughing toxin, the small X gas toxin, is so powerful that it is capable of affecting high-level beings like Superman and Wonder Woman in the Justice League, and that one panel where Batman had to go up against all of them. Uh, and usually what it does is that it kills normal people um, because they just can't stop laughing. They pretty much just suffocate. With higher level beings, it doesn't kill them, but it kind of does drive them insane a bit. Uh, Joker, though, for all of his capabilities, and he's also a pretty capable fighter hand-to-hand -hand as well. For all his capabilities, is still a human. Like, he can still very much be killed. He can be shot, stabbed, all that. So he's a run, run your arm through like Superman did in Injustice. Uh, so he's not infallible by any stretch of the means, but he's still a very difficult opponent to deal with and by, for any regular standard person. John Rambo was a, uh, was a, um, was a veteran. Oh God, I can never remember if it's Vietnam or Korea. I want to say it's Vietnam. Hold on. John Rambo. Uh, let's see here. John Rambo. What? It, where? Uh, First Blood. Uh, where, 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 where did he go? Was it, again, it was Vietnam or Korea. I always forget that bit. I want to say it's Nam. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, he's, he's a Vietnam War vet. And, yeah, he saw and did shit he did not like. Uh, and it <laughs> messed him up beyond all capability. I mean, by the last blood, as it was, which was... It only turned into a Rambo film in the last 15 minutes. And even then, not when the... Not as good as, like, say, the, like, the last one. Which, where he went and just hog wild on people. And just ham. John Hambo, if you will. Um, no, it, but... It, it's not last one, that's good. But by the last movie, he did... He was taking medication, sure. But, um, he did seem to be able to find himself in a relatively good place, emotionally. He still had moments... Uh, and he still, like, made an entire, uh, connected, uh, tunnel way for, uh, for himself underneath his property. But he still, he still was overall in a good spot until his niece, I think it was, was, uh, met her end, unfortunately. Um, so, he's, uh, so, be, he's got all the training of a combat vet. He's always in good shape, even in his older years, he's still in good shape, because Stallone keeps working out for what it's worth. Uh, but he's also highly dangerous. Like he, this is a man who is, as they say, a master of guns, of tanks. He's a guerrilla warfare expert. Um, and that's just thing. He's a guerrilla warfare expert. He can take the environment and meld it into what he needs to kill you. He is a master of setting booby traps. He killed a boar with just a stick. Forgot. Well, he sharpened it into a spear, but with a stick. Um, 
he is capable of, he's capable of surviving a lot, capable of, you know, t taking a gunshot, then patching himself up later on. Uh, he can keep going for a while. And he, again, he's a physical beast, especially in the first few films. Uh, master of bow and arrow, master of hand-to-hand -hand combat. I mean, he's not a martial artist, but he is a, he's a soldier. There is the issue, though, of the PTSD. That is a problem. <laughs> There's, that's a problem you can't really overlook, to be honest. Uh, that he is, that he is a war vet that has suffered immense trauma. And it's, it comes back to haunt him at, at points. So the question is, between these two, who would ultimately win? Where is the scenario where it's, I'd have to assume it's John Rambo in Gotham. That would be my assumption of how you'd set this fight up. Uh, and, you know, he's just trying to get past. They maybe some guys mug him or try to mug him and he just beats the hell out of them. Uh, maybe whatever. Eventually it leads him to cross paths with the Joker. Maybe some Joker goons kind of try to do F with him and he kind of beats their ass. And this leads him ultimately to encounter the Joker and one way, one thing or another, and let's just say the weapons John would use, which theoretically everything he would use, the Joker should have on call, are right there. He still always has his uh, combat knife on him, though, the big one. So he does have that. And, you know, he's dodging. Joker's just laughing. <laughs> just laughing at his ass off. Judge <laughs> fires at him, and Joker has to keep moving. The Joker does note, though, this guy's not quite as fun as Batman, but he's also a lot more fun than some of the other guys because he seems all very... He seems... Similar in nature to Batman, where he's a bit more serious, but he can also see, oh, the, you, it's like, you know, you know, uh, they, like maybe you learned his name, so, you know, John, it all it takes is one bad day. I, and, and I'll tell you, you look like you've had a hell of a day. <laughs> then just shoots at him, um, and John just, boom, just shoots at him, and shoots back at Joker. Eventually, John's able to uh, just clap, uh, just start beating the hell out of him. Tries, uh, tries to literally just put the knife in his neck, and the Joker realizes, oh no, this guy's just trying to straight out kill me. Like, this guy, this guy's not quite there. And this is where I think the Joker changes his personality does change to a degree. The reason for that is when you re if you remember the crossover comic with Punisher and Bat and Joker and Batman, the Joker got freaked out because the Punisher was actually just he was just gonna straight out kill him, and that freaked him out. Like, wait, 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 what? Uh, not not to say the Joker's afraid of death, but the fact is, it's that mentality of like, oh no, I'm I'm ridding the world of scum by getting rid of you, and so. I think that John, the fact that John's just like, just trying to get the Joker's still laughing, but he's like, and just squirts the acid flower on him, uh, and just, just, just burning, and John does smack him, though, <laughs> and, and Joker just, you know, clicks the gun, John's able to, you know, just kind of randomly fires the, with the gun he has on call, and Joker gets winged, uh, and then John just uh, comes in again, stabs the Joker, he's like, ah! And just starts twisting the knife. <laughs> uh, that, man, you really don't have any sense of humor, don't you? Do you? Don't worry, though. I've got the perfect joke for you. In fact, it's a killer. And then just puts the Joker glass in, gas in his face, and and that's all she wrote for John. The problem for John in this fight, it's I think I actually created John against Rambo or uh, the Punisher at one point. It's actually some of a problem to th uh, throwing, uh, say, John against the Punisher, is that um, you're dealing with someone who doesn't have the same level, who has a different type of trauma than you, but still kind of fully functions. John isn't actually always fully functioning; like he's always almost in survival mode especially when you put him in these scenarios. So more strategic thinking, all that doesn't, I mean, yes, strategic to a degree, but what I mean by that is he's always in fight and flight. Like, and once you get him in that mode, he's always in fight and flight. Joker can actually be, has been stabbed, brutally beaten and still laughed it off. But beyond that, John is, John comes from a world that is not equipped to handle any sort of real combo characters that use, uh, abilities beyond standard weaponry, particularly toxin and weaponry and weapons. The Joker Venom alone, if he takes one whiff of that, he's a dead. There's nothing that says he would have a resistance to that. So, unfortunately for John, I gotta go the Joker in this fight. Uh, the Joker very easily has several advantages over him. He goes against Batman all the time, who could easily beat John, let's be honest. 
Uh, and it's just not a fight John's really set up to win. I'm not saying you can get a couple good licks in. Definitely not saying that. But he's just not set up to win this fight, unfortunately. This is just my opinion, however. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.